In this particular video, we're going to be responding to a challenge in the Facebook group Tool Cosmic Xenia. And that challenge is to utilize salt, watercolor, and a die cut. My name is Peg. My channel, Two Oak Rose Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when we upload additional content. So let's get started. We're going to cut three ATC size pieces of watercolor paper, lay them, I have them laid on a freezer paper just so they won't um, wet my entire, my entire worktop here. And I'm just wanting a watercolor background. So I'm wetting my brush, choosing a color, and I'm just going to lay that color down. We are going to load this wet paper and wet pigment with salt. And I'm using two types. I'm using a table salt, and I'm also going to come back and on another piece use some coarse kosher salt. But let's talk first about what's physically happening when you drop a piece of salt into a pool of watercolor pigment. Each one of those little salt granules is going to act as a tiny little sponge, and it's going to pull whatever water and whatever pigment it can towards it. And the result is going to be that muddling effect or, you know, kind of that stuccoing effect on your background. So there are a couple of variables, the type of pigment you use, the type of paint you use, and the type of watercolor paper you use. Um, the watercolor paper, cold press, absorbs a little faster than hot press, so you get a little different um, effect. But experiment on your own, and, and you will find what you like and what you will use. I personally like just plain old table salt. So we're going to shake that salt on them and set these aside and allow them to dry. Once dry, we'll bring them back, and we will brush the salt off, and we will have our resulting background. On the yellow piece, I've decided to add an additional coat of green because I am going to die cut a flower out of this particular piece of paper. So that is going to be my die cut. So we have them all here now. And I want to create a spot on the back of it to write on to remind me of what this challenge was. So I have this tea stain paper that I am going to utilize, and I'm preparing my dye, getting any remnants of the last use out of it, and just positioning it to make sure that it will work. So we have our tea stain paper. Let's glue that down, and we'll coat the back with that. Once that is complete, I think we need a little more interest into the card. So I've decided to punch some holes down the side, and thread sari silk through those holes. I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm not going to get real distinct with measurement. So you can do that as you wish, but I, I'm just going to eyeball it and take my chances. So I've cut three holes. I do come back and cut a fourth um, when I start to thread the sari, but you'll see why. I've pulled out the Stormy Sky ink and am going to frame around the outside edge of this with a darker shade of blue. And I'm doing that on both sides. Just wiping off the last little remnant of the salt, positioning my dye. So I want those petals to be green and the flower to be yellow. And I think we have accomplished that by running that dye through the big shot. And I'm taking just my craft pick and poking out any little pieces that, that didn't fall off freely. And I love this little craft pick. It's retractable, so it, uh, you know, stores nice and is easy to use. So there we have the die cut ready to position, and I'm just going to glue it down with some glitter glue right there on the edge of my background.
and place it and just make sure that we are secure. And there you have it. So now let's take a look at what we need to do to finish this off. So I'm going to pull this sari silk and I've just chosen a ivory colored sari silk and I'm just going to thread it through those holes and position that into place. And as you can see, when I, I have the three holes, so it, it um, leaves one piece on the back or one end on the back. So I'm just going to punch that fourth hole and pull that sari up through that. And then I can cut those little tails off and we'll have a tail at the top and a tail at the bottom. And I think that looks much nicer. I will go back in and just secure that in place by putting a little bit of glue underneath that sari there in the middle. Maybe tack it down a bit on the top and the bottom and we will be good to go. Now let's just flip that card over and write on here what this is in response to. So I'm just putting the date challenge and I am going to write the three components, which is the salt, the watercolor, and the die cut. And that completes the challenge for this week. Once again, my name is Peg. I call my channel channel Two Oak Crows. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And I have put a couple of playlists up here that I think you will enjoy. I appreciate you being here. Love to see your comments. Bye for now.